Hello Lazzy here and in today's video we are checking out the latest version of YSSBE shader. Like, oh my god, look how awesome that water is! Cue the cinematic intro! So I was originally going to showcase this shader in my last video which was the Realistic Co 512 POM Texture Pack for Minecraft Pocket Edition. However, I kind of recorded the wrong shader and yeah, I'll use the old version instead of the new version. What are you? An idiot sandwich. <sighs> wow. So here we are checking out this awesome new shader which is seriously so amazing. It looks like a Java shader. Like look, the water is so awesome. You walk up to the water, you look down, you see the cloud reflections, the sun reflections. You even see the acoustics happening underneath the water live in front of your eyes. Which is a common feature on Java shaders. And it only recently has been done in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So it is really awesome to see it. So not only has the water significantly improved in this shader, it may mean you lag a little bit more, however it looks really awesome. So this shader also has a few other new features which is really awesome, like look at the nighttime in this shader, like look how gorgeous it is at nighttime, my goodness how awesome is that? So when it does rain on the ground you'll see all the reflections which is really awesome, you can see the reflections on like the iron blocks which is a nice, nice feature. So the sunrise sunset does look quite lovely with this shader as well and an awesome thing about this shader is you can actually customize it in the settings. So I will be using documents which is a free application on the app store so you can edit files which is what I've been using for many years now. However, if you are on Android you can use Zarkiver which is a free application as well which I use when I do use my Android device which it has been a while like it's a bit dusty. So in the files, all you need to go into is the folder which contains the settings option. 
So once you get the settings file, all you need to do is just remove a few slashes, add a few slashes, depending if you want to turn off the feature or turn it on. So what I've actually done myself is actually even change the, I guess, cloud density. So I've just increased the number slightly so I get, a, I guess, thicker clouds. If you do want to reduce lag, I recommend turning off some features or even just lowering it by, I guess, reducing the cloud density so it won't be so, I guess, heavy on your device. So if you want to play around with it, you can definitely do that in this shader, which is really awesome. So to download this shader is very simple. All you need to do is go into the creator's Discord, which is linked in the description below. And once you are a member, you can go ahead and download the latest versions of this shader. So there is also the previous versions of this shader if you do want to have a gaze at those. However, the latest version is quite lovely and I recommend checking it out. Also in the description, I will link my two videos showcasing some POM textures which uses YSSBE shader. So if you want to download Realistico or even Vanilla Accurate with the POM effect, those videos are in the description below if you want to have a gaze and check them out for yourself. I cannot wait to see what comes in future updates of this shader. I will definitely be doing update videos on it. So make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on the best pocket edition shaders. But that is it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And the peace. And the goodbye, creeper.